I don't know if I stay in a in the right classroom uh, because the link uh, was missing a part and when I uh, uh, make the clicks in that, I don't know if I am in the class correct classroom. All right. Um, this is the conversation class, the English conversation class. Yes. So I am Margarita Argot. I am your teacher. Uh, I don't know. If you were supposed to be in the conversation class, yes, you are here. Uh, I'm uh, in the, I'm beginning the course, the general two. All right. Uh, B1. That's it. Uh, and I have to attend a class for the presentation. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know what? The welcome session is going to be next Thursday. Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. But it's okay that, that you are here now. Uh, well, we are supposed to be in the bachilleres class, but uh -oh. it's also your schedule. So it's okay, it's correct. The welcome session is going to be on a Thursday from 9 to 10, I guess. Yes, 9 to 10. And we have also Friday, 9 to 10. And Saturday, it is going to be 8 to 9, I guess. Okay. Uh, then I'm in the wrong session. Oh, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I can participate. Can I participate? Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Israel, please talk to us about yourself. Hello, Israel. Israel, are you there? Hello. Hello. Problem with my audio? Ah, oh, don't worry. Yes. Okay, tell us who you are and what you do, where you are from. Introduce yourself, please. I'm from Mexico State. I have a student of level B2. Is for for my other car career. Career. Career is informatica. Informatic. In model presentation. Hey, that's great. Okay, welcome, Israel. Well, this is the bachilleres class, but as I told uh, Lourdes before, you are welcome. Uh, you are supposed to be um, in the, um, yeah, you were supposed to have the welcome session next Thursday or Friday or Saturday, but you are welcome to today's class. All right, so you know what? Today we are going to talk about traditions. Erika, I can't see your microphone icon, so maybe you are having some problems for the connection. Uh, so uh, do me a favor, Erika. Uh, go to the little three dots that are into your screen. They are some tools. And there you are going to have cambiar uh, audio del teléfono. And there you are going to have the option probar el audio de la computadora. Do it so that you can have your microphone active. All right? Okay, so let's talk Lourdes. Excellent, Erika. Yes, yes. Pretty good. How are you? Erika? Yes, we listen to you. 
Erika, hello. Don't be shy. All right. Meanwhile, Erika uh, fixes her problem with her microphone. Let's talk. You know what? Today we are going to talk about holidays and traditions. So, um, please tell me, Lourdes, uh, what do you think about traditions? Are there any traditions in the world that you know? Yes. Uh, I, I think it, they are important because uh, we can, uh, with the traditions, we can remember uh, our, our uh, people and the, 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 the things they did. And uh, I know... Uh, the the next tradition the near next tradition is the uh, death uh, day in November first and two of November. That's it. You know what? I don't know, but I guess that it is some of the most important traditions in Mexico. What do you think about it, uh, Israel? What do you think about the dead of the day? The, I, be, I mean, the day of the dead. Israel, Erika? All right, what do you think about the day of the dead as a tradition in Mexico? Well, maybe they are having problems with their microphone. All right, Oriana, welcome. How are you today? Hello, Oriana. Hola. Hi, how are you? Hi. Very fine, thank you. Fine. Excellent. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay. All right, Oriana, please. Could you talk to us about yourself? Tell us who you are and what you do. Mm, well, I'm I'm housewife, and actually I study um, in the UNAP. I have one child. I'm married, and I live in Playa del Carmen, Quintana Roo. And, and that's all. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Okay, so <clears throat> why don't you talk to us about any tradition in Playa del Carmen? Mm, well, the tradition in, in this city is to go to the beach. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> nice. Um, it's a young city, really. No more traditions. Say, um, say, um, Se festeja el día de la Virgen del Carmen. Ah, uh, they celebrate uh -huh. the, the uh, Virgen del, Cam del Carmen's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Carmen's Virgin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's it. And how do you celebrate it? Mm. They go to uh, church. Hay una marcha o procesión. Yeah, there's um, a procession. Procession. Mm -hmm. Hay eh, eh, feria. 
All right, a, a carnival. Carnival. And food, bazaars, and beer. <laughs> good. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. You're welcome. So now let's go to the first part holidays mm -hmm. and traditions. Oh. So look at this. Uh, well, I, I was asking you if you could mention and explain any important tradition in your hometown. Okay, you have talked to us about the Virgen Carmen's party. Uh, we have talked about uh, the Day of the Dead, but do you know any other tradition around the world? For example, here we are, the Lotus Feet. Can you see uh, the feet of the, that woman? Do you know anything about this tradition? No, I don't. No? Uh, Israel, what about you? Do you know anything about this tradition? Israel, hello. Okay, Lourdes, do you know anything about this tradition? No, I don't know. I don't recognize, recognize them. Well, um, I'm going to talk to you about this. Well, it is not a celebration, it's a tradition. Chinese people say that when women have very tiny feet, they are more attractive for men. So it is important that women have very small feet. So when they are very, very young, when they are little children, kind of like five years old, they tie their feet with uh, some bandages. The objective of this is that their feet don't grow ever because it could be not very attractive for men, so they couldn't be married even. And for them, it is so important. So for women, it's tremendously painful because they can't move, they can walk, they, their feet hurt, and they are in, in, a, in a very strange form, in a very strange shape. They are like a lotus flower. That's why they call the lotus feet to the tradition. So what do you think about it? I think it's a, a dangerous tradition for women. Um, maybe they um, can't uh, make a good equilibrium. Yeah, that's it. Because they have a little fit. Yeah, they have such little fit. So you know what? I have seen in some movie pictures that women, Chinese women, walk with little, little tiptoe steps. I think that they walk in that way because it is tremendously painful for them to, to walk as, as their feet are so shaped, like, well, so, so tight. Well, that's my point of view. So, what do you think about this tradition? I I think it is uh, also because the fit is uh, uh, the how can I say the form? Yeah, shaped. Oh, okay, fit because Shape. the fit is fit, and the women can't. Uh, Walk well. That's it, yes. Oh, but well, um, so Oriana, what do you think about this tradition? I think it's illogical. 
and painful and so, I, I don't know, so ridiculous. Mm. It's, uh, it's terrible. Yeah, I felt the same. Poor women, really poor women. But you know what? Um, I was observing Mexican women. Well, not only Mexican women, but modern women. And sometimes we tend to wear very high, high heeled shoes. And so they are very extremely uh, painful and also dangerous for our health because we can twist our ankles or we can fall down and they are deforming our spine. So, well, I relate a little this tradition of the lotus feet with the wearing of that kind of shoes. So, I don't know, what do you think about it? I think the streams are bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I wear in shoes with fifteen centimeters, and it's painful too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it really is. But, uh, I think we are um, vanidoses. Ah, uh, yeah, we are so vanished. <laughs> vanished. Vanished. Uh, but. It, I pay for that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Carlos, welcome. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, Carlos, please tell us who you are, what you do, where you are from. Please introduce yourself. Okay. I'm from to Mexico, um, Mexico City. I, I am. Uh, graphic designer. Um, I study in the, in the university. Uh, I saw. All right, tell us, how old are you? Um, 68. Hey, that's great. That's pretty good. And, uh, all right. So, welcome to today's class. You know what, Israel? I mean, Carlos, we are talking about traditions all around the world. And now we were talking about some traditions in, uh, in China, about the lotus feet. And, Carlos, do you know anything about this tradition in India? No, I don't know. <laughs> they are little children. They are kind of like nine years old, and they are married. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not good. <laughs> it's very yeah. bad. Why? Because it's very young, the girls. Yeah, they um, are so young girls. Yes, so young girls. Yes, uh, I... I it's not good that yeah that's it all right do you know any tradition like that in mexico voladores de papantla my goodness they are <laughs> beautiful but tremendously yes. uh, dangerous are isn't it yes and it's very dangerous us, yeah, what do you know about voladores de Papantla? Uh, it's, a, it's in the state of Veracruz. Uh, and it's the... No, 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 I don't know how... I don't know more. All right. Okay, well, but anyway, yes, you're right. It is extremely dangerous. All right. Yes. Well, did you know uh, any one of you, do any one of you know 
anything about the tradition of uh, children, little girls married in Oaxaca? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. What happens there? So, uh, it's a uh, similar for um, the Indian, but uh, in in Mexico, it's, it's uh, I don't I don't know how to tell the ya no ya no lo hacen. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> ah, no anymore. Yes, it's, 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 for uh, está desapareciendo es this disperse ah uh, it is changing or it is oh, disappearing changing. yes yes and what do you think about it is it good or it is not good that no it's not good why <laughs> because it's uh, very young girls and uh, no think uh, the life very well. Yeah, that's it. And well, as far as I am concerned, most of the times they are not married with people they decide. They are married with people who pay, who pay for yeah. them. Oh, yes. <laughs> they <laughs> pay maybe with, with some, some chicken, with some sacks of beans, with some sacks of corn. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. But anyway, it's a payment. <laughs> but this is it's bad for girls oh yes it is you know what I remember that time ago I had a friend uh, whose family came from Oaxaca and he told me that when his father met her mother they were really? very she was very young he was not a very good a very young man but uh -huh. her mother was pretty young. She was 11 years old. And so uh, one day he's got, uh, his grandfather said, all right, you know what? There's a man in here wants you to go with him. And so prepare all, all of your things and go. And that was the first time she saw his, his husband. And so... Uh -huh. She had to obey. She took most of her clothes and she left home. The man, no. Oh. Oh, oh so, yo, yo. Yeah, so that's a tradition. And so he told me that whenever girls are born in that town, people are really happy because having girls, it's an income for families because they ask for some food for them. So whenever a, a family has many girls, they are really happy. They are lucky because they are going to have food instead. Oh, yes. But uh, <laughs> mm. that is the form for the take a, a food. It's, it's very bad. Yeah, that's it. And well, uh, we don't we don't see it like a very good uh, behavior. But anyway, yes, in Oaxaca it was a tradition also. Yes. All right. Well, let's go to the next question. You consider that traditions are important in the social life of any country? What do you think about it, Carlos? Oh, this is it's very complex. <laughs> complicated. Uh, this uh, the, the traditional is uh, is in um, the is es que se me enreda mucho la la mente por todo que quisiera decir, pero me faltan okay. las palabras. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. You know what? The principal objective of this class is not to assess you or to 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 me, to, to evaluate you. This oh, okay. class, this class objective is to help you to grow up fluency, to develop 
um, confident in speaking. Okay. So, sorry, it's okay. Try to speak. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, um, I think the traditions is uh, is half uh, half <laughs> good and bad because the social society uh, is change change or change changing uh, changing and <clears throat> the traditions stop in uh, the chain no no is uh, no fluye no no is no no the, the society no is progress no no progress yeah that's it <laughs> hey that's pretty good Thank you, Carlos. All right. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, Carlos, tell me, who's next? Lourdes, Oriana, or Israel? Mm, Oriana. Right. Thank you very much. Or mm. Oriana, we listen to you. Hello. I'm here. Excellent. Okay. What do you think about this? Do you consider that traditions are important in the social life of any country? I consider what? Excuse me? Uh, yeah, do you consider that traditions are important in the social life of any country? Yes, I think many traditions, yes. Uh, yes, it is. Um, I, I see more traditions are um, evol evol evolutionary. Evolving. Evolving. Mm, for, for the times, for, for, the, for the new generations. Mm, for example, I, uh, I'm born in Mazatlan. There are in Mazatlan the, the Carnival is uh, the best tradition in the, in the state, and in the beginning, a few more, a few cars, and a few queens, and. And it's little by little is it's it's grown. Ha crecido mucho. Yeah, that's it. And there are many more. We are we are much people. No, absolutely. we are a lot of people. The people, and the bad the bad thing is is a transformation a business or a, a just commerce. Mm, that's it. I see. Yeah, you're right. All right. So, uh, Oriana, please, who do you want to listen to? Do you want to listen to Lourdes or to Israel? Uh, Israel. All right. Thank you very much. Israel, we listen to you. What do you think about the importance of traditions in the social life of any country? and the culture and tradition of, of locality 
Ah, en la cena, Lishi. Me servicio. And kills that economic of locality for the Paris. Um, Power is that religion in the sun and and kids of the economic and tourism. All right, thank you very much, Israel. All right, so uh, let's listen to Lourdes now. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, I think traditions are important because it's a form of to know the and preserve the history or a culture. Uh, uh, it's, it's to say that uh, we don't have to we have to know the traditions, but maybe we we don't need to follow with the traditions only for uh, preserve some uh, knowledge about the people or our uh, i don't know how to say ancestors yeah or ancestors uh, yes yeah. I think mm, that is important, that is the, the, the thing that we can, we need to preserve traditions. Hey, that's it, thank you very much. You know, I totally agree with you. All right, now let's go to the next question. Here we are. Holidays and traditions. In your opinion, is there any tradition that should be banned? I mean, as far as we know, there are some traditions that uh, risk the life of people or that are violent or that we think that are not very recommendable to do. For example, I'm going to talk to you about a place where I live very relatively near. I live in Ecatepec, Mexico State, and next to Ecatepec there is Tultepec. That is a place where fireworks are produced. From my point of view, it is extremely dangerous because uh, fireworks are produced in houses most of the times and they are produced also in a massive way. So they turn into a danger for human life. There have been many explosions in Tultepec every year, and thousands of people, well, not thousands, hundreds, hundreds of people have died because of those explosions. So in my opinion, that tradition should be banned because it endangers the life of the community. But I don't know, do you know any other tradition, any other activity that we consider dangerous? Uh, what do you think about it, Israel? Hello, Israel. All right, uh, maybe he can't speak. So what do you think about it, Oriana? Um, I, I think the traditions in what uh, put uh, the people in danger or in, in this case, this, this for animals, um, I I don't like it. I don't. I think the the ban it um, or or transform it or or change it for 
for um, um, yeah, sorry. Um, I think um, should be modificated some little. Maybe. Modified. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, some few traditions um, in what the innocence and so nice. I don't know, like a dances, like a festival of arts. Yes, that's it. Well, you're right. There are some that should be preserved, but yes, there are some others that uh, should be observed uh, so that we know if, if they are good or not. Okay, thank you very much. Lourdes, what do you think about it? Uh, I know that there is uh, uh, this type of traditions with lights and uh, fire, uh, artificial fires. Fireworks. Fireworks, they are dangerous and uh, it is for how can I say prohibido? Um, or, um, uh, I think now it is uh, forbidden, uh, but the people uh, uh, continuing to do that thing, uh, even if it is uh, forbidden. Yeah, that's it, even if they are dangerous. So that's something yes. incredible. Yes, thank you very much for your opinion. And so, uh, Israel, what do you think about those traditions? In my opinion, something that the uh, prohibited, prohibited in the place to eat animals within China or, or marries with People's minors. Yeah, that's it, like in, in India? Yes. Yeah, so uh, do you consider, well, I see, for example, bullfight as a very risky activity. It is a celebration, it's the, the bullfight, but I don't know, I don't think that it could be considered as art. Well, that's my opinion, but what do you think about it? Is it really art? No, not this art. Is the, the animals, the bulk, and is inhumanation. Yeah, it is non-human. It, it is cruel, I see, as, a, as far as I see. All right, and uh, what about Lourdes? What do you think about the guamantlada? Do you know, uh, well, you know what is the guamantlada? Yes, I know, uh, but it's a dangerous tradition, but the people want, that want to go there, they decide. Uh, stay in the uh, dangerous place is their decision. Yes, that's it. You know what? It is something uh, so interesting because that's what you said. It's their decision. Uh, but, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that it could be a very good idea to, to, to do that. 
So what do you think about it? Here in Mexico, we have the guamantlada. Yes, I think they think that they can run or go uh, more uh, bit, uh, rapido. I don't know how to say it. Uh, that the, the animals. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I don't know. Well, I think that we are very um, we are very interest, interested sometimes in learning more about some cultures, but in that learning, we are forgiving our own uh, roots, our own traditions. I am talking concretely about Halloween. Halloween is nice, all right, it's funny, but what do you think about the mixture that we have done be between the, dead of the, the Day of the Dead and Halloween? Uh, what do you think about it, Doriana? Um, I prefer Day of Death, of course, but it's uh, it, it's decision of of the the, the people uh, to decide what traditions festejar um, um, or Celebrate. Celebrate. Mm -hmm. mm, Halloween, it's funny. Mm, how you say? Mm, maybe some people I don't like, but it's decision of someone um, of each. This is a decision. That yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, Lourdes, what do you think about this tradition? Well, the mixture of traditions of Halloween and the Day of the Dead. Mm. Yeah, I, I think they are in a different day and we can <coughs> celebrate one one day and the other the other day. Uh, we can mix them, but uh, it's important to distinguish between them. Uh, uh, even when, when I, uh, why I teach the children this type of, these things or this type of traditions. Uh, the 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 day of the dead it's an important tradition in a lot of places in an, a lot of countries and we can teach the our children uh, this tradition not only in the united states or in, even in i don't know the england uh, for example, or, or, uh, or uh, in other places, they have the, uh, two this kind of traditions. Hey, that's, yes. It is important that our children know about it, about them, uh, in uh, a lot of uh, countries. That's it. And well, do you know where uh, is also uh, famous the, this tradition of the Day of the Dead? Excuse me, teacher? Yeah, do you know in what other countries or tradition of the Day of the Dead is famous? Mm, no, I don't know. No, what about you, Lourdes? In what other countries do we consider? Yes, uh, in France, in the north or of France, they have a, 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 a legend, a legend 
like, about the death that there is uh, some uh, near or, or, uh, to the tradition here in Mexico uh, the they celebrate this this day uh, too in this country I don't know if it is in all the of the France, but in the north of the France, uh, it is. Wow! Hey, I didn't think that in Europe it could be something similar to the the day of the day of the dead. But you know what? I was thinking about Coco. Do you remember the movie picture Coco? I didn't see it. The, it. <laughs> oh, didn't you see Coco? Uh, who saw Coco? I saw Coco. What do you think about that movie picture? Mm, I like it. What movie it is? Mm, more things are mm, true. Other things I think is uh, fantasious, fantasiosas. <laughs> and they are fantasy. Mm -hmm. but in general terms, I, I like it, but like like movies, just like that. Yeah, um, that's it. And anyway, mm -hmm. we shouldn't forget that it is a movie picture. But yes, it talks uh, very closely about the tradition of the the day of the dead and uh, you know what the as far as i am concerned the original the original name of that movie picture was going to be the day of the death but i guess that there was a problem about it because they wanted to buy the rights of the day of the death and so it is a, a very traditional Mexican party, so it is not on sale. So as they didn't get, they didn't have the opportunity of uh, buying the rights, they couldn't um, use it. So that was, the movie picture's name was Coco, not the day of the dead. Mm, I agree with you. Yeah, but guess what? It is so important and so nice in the whole world. Well, not in the whole world, but yes, in many countries, as Lourdes said, that they are trying to explain the world. What is it? That's nice. All right. Finally, let's talk about Christmas. Israel, what do you think about Christmas? Christmas is... Uh tradition more important for varied countries and celebration in the world is a um, the form of start con tu familia yeah to be with your family yes and and convivation of different, different maneras. In different ways. Different ways. That celebration with in Mexico is reunion with with family and poner arbolito de Navidad, posadas, and other countries is the regalos yeah to give any gifts it, and it's important with reunion with the families and different parts of the world yeah to to be all together hey that's great all right so oriana tell us how do you celebrate christmas Oh, and it's um, it, it's time 
very happy for me because I meet with my family. Um, I I travel with with him to my to my city or with my or with my family in law <laughs> with the with the parents with my husband and we dinner we we celebrate with the with gifts and we we making many phone calls <laughs> to the to the friends and others and, and we we sing and how say villancicos we sing villancicos yes, the, the carol carols yes and and that hey that's beautiful yes and and as you said as you mentioned Christmas is a very important Mexican tradition also. All right. So, Lourdes, how do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, I celebrate Christmas with my family. Uh, we have a huge dinner. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's only a dinner time. Uh, I don't want, I don't go to the church or something like that. We don't uh, rezar. ¿Cómo se? I don't know how to pray. say rezar. Pray. Uh, we don't pray. We only do the dinner and make a great party with my, my family. Hey, that's pretty. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. All right. So, would you like to share any other tradition or to say anything else about any celebration? Yes, I, I know the Christmas uh, tradition. It's a uh, mix. Uh, it's a combination of the... Uh, Catholic traditions. It's it's a Catholic imposition uh, to the people uh, in the previous cultures, like the indigenous here in Mexico. Uh, they they combine the tradition of the indigenous people with the uh, Catholic uh, ideas and make this uh, of uh, this uh, Catholic tradition. Excellent. Hey, that was pretty good. That was pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know, but for some people to talk about Christmas or to talk about any religious celebration is something like a taboo. Because time ago, it was uh, not to question God and not to question anything about what the church said. So, do you remember time ago? I remember that my granny used to tell, hey, don't question God. It is a, a, an issue of God, so we don't have the right to talk about it. And for me, it was, sur it was so surprising because we have to to have a blind faith. So I don't know what's your opinion about that blind faith. Hello. Yeah. So uh, Lourdes, what do you think about that blind faith? Hello. 
I, I think uh, most of the time is because the people uh, uh, took decisions about the religion and it's only that, it's, it was a decision and they uh, need to, to say people that they have to, to believe in that and it's all is that is all uh, we can't uh, participate in that type of decisions that's it well you you have mentioned uh, something about the personal decision of everyone and yes that's it even if you celebrate or you don't celebrate it's a personal decision you're right Okay, or the way you do it. Okay, finally, uh, tell me, talk to me about if any one of you have a so different uh, celebration at home about Christmas, something that is, well, not strange, but unusual. Uh, yes, we, in my, in my family, we have a tradition and uh, one day of uh, of the year uh, we go to my parents uh, home with a hot all people uh, have to uh, to have a hat uh, that day we call this tradition it's a it's a family tradition. We call them the hot day. Hey, that's nice. That sounds so fun. All right, thank you very much. It was so interesting. All right, well, I don't know if you want to say anything else, if you want to, uh, to say any comment or to ask anything. No, all right. Well, uh, Oriana, uh, Israel, Lourdes, thank you very much for your attendance and for your attention. And see you next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Likewise. Good night. Good night. Erika, welcome. How are you today? Hello.